Good evening everybody, Sam Strains here, welcome back to the railway, welcome back to another fantastic running session, really looking forward to this one, it's going to be all about red locomotives, and that is it, so uh, yes, it's going to be a very mixed bag today, but of course every loco I show is going to have something in common, because they are all red. So as you can probably tell by this coach, um, we're going to be starting with a little bit of a Great Western theme, and I thought what better excuse to demonstrate this turntable at long last, uh, than to uh, put the first few locos onto there and uh, show them coming off it. So as you can see there, there are the first three locos of the day. The one we're going to be looking at to start with is uh, this one, Lord Westwood number 25555. And uh, she of course is a Hall class. So what I'm going to do is, she needs to actually reverse off the turntable. So I'm going to get her onto the bridge, flip her all the way around and then uh, take her off uh, around the layout to find her coaches. So let's do that now then, let's get her onto the turntable and uh, please keep your fingers crossed and uh, hope it works. <laughs> so the first thing to do is set the switch, so I'm setting that to track 4, there we go, and that should mean now that I can control Lord Westwood uh, onto the turntable. And yes, he's on. Okay, let's get her turning then. Or she, I don't know. Him or her. It's got a man's name, hasn't it? So. Uh, when it's called Lord Westwood, you tend to want to call it uh, a bloke, but I suppose the right thing to do would be to call it a lady, but uh, it doesn't matter. Hopefully she's not going to clash with the other locos. Alright, nearly there. I need to get ready to stop it. There we go, stop it there, and let's reverse Lord Westwood off the turntable. There he goes. And she's heading for the very innermost line, so I need to stop her right there and uh, shut those points again, just for safety's sake for next time. Uh, open these ones up, and of course, these are the coaches she's going to be pulling, so uh, they're right where she needs them to be, really. Okay, uh, let's see if we've got the direction right yet. There we go. Shut these points once again, and throw her into reverse, and if we're lucky, she'll couple. Ooh, <laughs> sorry about that, everybody. Not you guys, the people in the coaches, I think that must have uh, really hurt actually. Anyway, off she goes then, uh, I'll just take her out of shot and then stop her. In fact, let's reverse her out of shot and stop her, so that she's not in the way for the next couple of locos. Okay, back to the turntable then, I'll show you the next loco. And the next loco I'm going to show you then is a castle class. Now it's Hogwarts Castle, or the Hogwarts Express, so of course it shouldn't be a castle, it should really be a hall, but Hornby produced these as a castle for a long time. So uh, let's get her onto the turntable then. Um, so yeah, as I say, it shouldn't be a castle, but it is. So she is on, let's see here, one, two, three, line three, so let me set the directional switch to number three, and uh, the turntable bridge is actually perfectly in the right place, so all I've got to do is move her onto the turntable now, so there we are, and straight off the other end, perfect. Right, let's get her to her coaches then. Okay, she's on her way out of the uh, turntable area, so I'll just switch these points, ready for when she gets here, and here she is now, perfect, and stop her just there. Well, the locos are behaving themselves, aren't they, so far? I should not have said that, definitely not, but uh, I don't believe in jinxing things. Oh, what the? Ooh, that's creepy. She's just stopped on the points. Okay, I'm going to shut up now, because that was scary. <laughs> okay, no, she's okay. If she, oh, imagine if she died and never woken up again, that would have been terrible. Right, that's a bit creepy. Oh, well. Take those coaches out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it's to be expected, isn't it? Okay, let's go back to the turntable then for the third loco. And last but not least then, this one is a Hall class and it's Alton Hall and she's very popular. A lot of people have been asking to see her. I will review her soon. I think it was Sean and Charles that wanted to see her reviewed, so yep, I'll be doing that. But for now then, let's get this turntable set up to handle her. First of all, we need to set the switch to track two. So that's done, and now I've just got to move the bridge, of course, so that she can get onto the turntable again. So uh, let's do that. Lovely Alton Hall from the railroad, the railroad range. I can never say railroad range properly. Okay, and onto the turntable she goes. Nice and steadily does it. Yep. And then uh, set the turntable to reverse. And uh, take her off again. There we go. Off she goes. Perfect. Tell you what, let's uh, move the camera with her this time, just so that you can uh, get your bearings. 
so we'll I'll set the camera up so that it's looking at this point here. In fact, I don't I don't need it to be looking at that point. I need to be looking at this point, don't we? There we are. Sorry about that. It's a bit early in the morning, actually. Need a bit of time to get going. There we go. Okay, and her coaches are on the outside line, of course. So uh, very easy job for us this time. Just got to switch those back and uh, reverse her up, and uh, she's good to go. Or is she? I don't know. That didn't sound like a good coupling. Let's have a look. Here comes the hand of God. Oh no, I needn't have worried. That was perfect. Okay, well, there she is then. That's Alton Hall, lovely loco, and of course red, so uh, perfect for today. Forward she goes then. Okay, let's have a quick running session with these three then. I'll get the others started. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy them. Let's do it. And we are, you got the uh, Alton Hall, and by the way, I'm going to get mixed up with these because they all look the same from a distance. But uh, yeah, Alton Hall looks good. Lord Westwood, of course, with her chuffing sound. You've got to love the chuffing sound, haven't you? And uh, now I've just got to track down the old Hogwarts Express. And as you can tell, I put some uh, LMS coaches onto her just so that they would look a bit more like the Hogwarts coaches. So uh, yeah, hopefully that looks good. <laughs> Alton Hall going nice and gently, not too quick. But the Hogwarts loco is really powering along, isn't she? <laughs> but that's a quite nice to have a bit of variety, I suppose, isn't it? Mm, look at that. You know, it's not very prototypical, that one isn't, but it's absolutely fantastic. Runs great. Very powerful. And uh, that, of course, again, is the Railroad Hall class. I think I'll be reviewing that next, actually. So, uh, don't hold me to that. I'll have to check, but I think I am doing that one next. And there's Lord Westwood, of course. Good old trying loco. Still going strong. Very nice. Oh, and there goes the castle again. Blimey, that was quick. <laughs> okay, folks. Well, I'm going to stop these little girls now. Or not so little girls, I suppose. They're quite big locos, really. And uh, pop those into the siding, as I always do. And then I'll move on to the next three locos. And uh, show you those. Let's just wait for the Hogwarts loco to come past once more, then. Oh yes, look at that. Beautiful. Looks just the part with those coaches as well. Alright, well, I'll try and peel myself away from this, and uh, I'll see you in a second. There you go then, that's those three into the sidings. I think we'll call that one the Great Western siding. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to set the next three locos up now then, and uh, they all have the small theme of tank engines. Okay, see you in a second. And the first of these tank engines is from the LMS, and there's going to be a fair bit of LMS today because, of course, the LMS did like uh, painting their logos red, didn't they? Anyway, this one is the, let's get this right, it's the LMS, uh, no, it's not the standard class 4, it's just the uh, Fowler class 4, that's it. Uh, it's a 4P, uh, that's a 264 locomotive, and she's going to be pulling those uh, those LMS coaches that uh, the Hogwarts loco was pulling last time, perhaps a little bit more correctly this time, so that's her. Uh, anyway, let's get her started then, and uh, see how she goes, the Fowler class 4P. And this little beauty is known as the LNYR Class 5, and it's a 242 locomotive. And yes, it came from the LNYR, which I think became part of the LMS eventually. Anyway, she's got some of the little mini four-wheeled coaches. Uh, all of those are red, some of them are Caledonian. And there's even a little red LMS brake van at the back there. So uh, let's get this little gem started then, the LNYR Class 5. On the inner line then, a little bit of an odd one this, this is actually the standard class 4 but it's not very prototypical because in real life they wouldn't have been painted into LMS maroon like this, uh, I think they would have been green or black. But nonetheless, uh, this one is red and it's a Wren model by the way and so I thought she would be fine in this video. So she, just like the, uh, the Fowler version, is a 264 and she has got some wagons, lots of wagons as you can see up there, uh, so hopefully they will look nice. For now then, let's get her up and running the, uh, the lovely standard class 4 tank engine. Here we go. Let's get her started. Oh, she's gone the wrong way. I suppose one of them had to, didn't they? Alright, speed her up some. And look at all those wagons. Fantastic. Okay, enjoy these three then. 
There's the 4P. That's the one I modified because um, it's got a modern body on it, but the chassis is old because the original chassis, that was a modern chassis that came with that one, broke. So I bought an older model and used its chassis, so that's why it's so noisy. There goes the Wren anyway, looking fantastic. And uh, here comes the LMYR Class 5 now. What a beauty that one is. For some reason, and I can't fathom why, I don't run this as much as I should. But let me know anyway, is this something I should run more often? Because it's all about what you guys want to see. Um, to be honest, it doesn't matter what I watch going around. <laughs> I love whatever I run. Well, they're looking good anyway, aren't they? Just wait for that LMYR Class 5 to appear. There she is. I like those little coaches as well. I need to probably try and get two or three more of those and make up a decent rake. And I'll give you a chance to see all these wagons going by. I love all the movement that they create. Fantastic. Okay, I think it's about time I put these three into those sidings then. So I'm going to do that now off camera. And uh, when I come back, I will show you the next few locomotives. I think the next bit might be a bit of a freestyle, so uh, we'll have to see. Uh, okay then, folks, just let this class 5 go past again. Ooh, look at that. Okay, I'll be right back again. All right, first up it is James then, and of course James has a very splendid red coat, as you can see here. And also, James, of course, loves to pull the Express. So just for James, I've set up his very own exclusive Express train with, well, how many is there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six um, XLNER sleeper cars there. So, uh, James, you've got your work cut out for you, but I'm sure you'll be able to do it. OK, let's see James pull his Express then. Oh, yes, no problem at all there. Very, very nice, James. Okay, next loco then. And this one is of course the lovely LMS Jinty, a very nice little 060. And uh, if you just look behind her, you can see she is pulling quite a nice uh, little rake of uh, goods. So there's, uh, all of them are red by the way, they've all got a bit of red on them. Uh, so yeah, let's get the old Jinty up and running then. Uh, here we go, a little bit of juice, nice and steady. Don't want to spill any Kit Kats. <laughs> there we go, perfect. Okay, and the inner line then. This one then is the Caledonian single wheeler, or in this state it's the ex-Caledonian single wheeler, number 14010, and uh, you can see that she has got a couple of LMS coaches there. So, uh, yep, yeah, let's get her started then. You might just be able to see James in the background. Ooh, just about. Okay, give her a bit of juice then, and uh, here we go with the ex-Caledonian single wheeler. Nice gentle start. There we go. Okay, enjoy these three then. Here comes the mighty James N going up his hill. Let's see if he can manage it. I'm sure he will. Oh, he's slowed down a touch. But he's off again. Yeah. See, he's a very proud engine, is James. So, if he's got a challenge, he'll do it no matter what. There's the Jinty now. Looking lovely. Here we go, look at this, we've got the two uh, running basically side by side there. That was quite nice. I tell you what though, I have noticed that every time James comes past here, he uh, has a look at that turntable. I reckon he's desperate to get on there, so one day we'll have to let him have a go, won't we? In fact, I might as well let all the Thomas characters have a go on there at some point. So we'll do that one day, uh, we'll get them all lined up around there and uh, do another Thomas running session. But uh, yeah. James, you'll have to wait for now, because we've got to show these people how good you are at running. And he is very good too, isn't he? Very good puller. Okay, well that's been very nice. I think I've enjoyed this round more than all the others so far. For now then, let's uh, pop these into those sidings. I'll show you a little update on the sidings, and then we'll move on and uh, see what's in store next. Oh, how exciting. Here we go then, let's do it. Wow, look at this. Is it just me or is anybody else getting really excited at this sea of beautiful red locomotives? We're only just halfway through as well, so uh, hopefully this will grow and look just fantastic by the end. So let's get on to it. Uh, what's the next set? I think we're going to have a bit of a Triang theme coming up next. So uh, here we go then with some Triang red engines. 
Okay, so the first Triang Loco then is this absolutely gorgeous Princess Royal in uh, BR Maroon. And as you can see, she's coupled to just three Pullman coaches, so a nice little train for her to manage. Uh, let's get her started straight away then. Here we go with the Triang Princess Royal. Now this one is probably my favourite of the day so far. This is the fantastic Triang Coronation class. This one's number 6244, King George VI. And although she would look better with the red Coronation Scott coaches, I've actually discovered that they look absolutely gorgeous pulling the blue ones. So there you go, five of those blue Coronation Scott coaches uh, coupled up to the red Streamline Coronation. Wow, what a wonderful sight this is. Okay, let me get her started then. Here we go. Finally then, something a little bit special, um, if you can still hear me over the noise, this is the Dealey 060, the Dealey 3F, whatever you want to call it, uh, 3775, and she's coupled to some Blood and Custard uh, Mark 1 coaches, and at the back of that train you can see she has a banker, and that's the same locomotive, number seven, uh, sorry, 3775, but in the gloss finish, so uh, yes, uh, a two locomotive train this one. Okay, let's get these started then, uh, see how they get on. There we go. The Dealey 3X. Okay, enjoy these lot running then, and uh, the coronation is just about to pass, so uh, I'll leave the camera here for that. Ooh, look at that. I love it, I absolutely love it. Here she comes then, the coronation. Oh, yes. Magnificent locomotives, weren't they? Really, really, they were. And the Dealey, 3Fs. I think 3F is the right thing to say. It might not be, but I've always called them that, just uh, so that people know what I mean. And uh, there we are, the Princess, uh, just about running in tandem with those, so that's quite interesting as well. Very nice. I've got that very rich triang smell in the air. Just the smell of the oil and the brushes on these old motors. It smells wonderful. I mean, probably not all that healthy, but uh, it's never done me any harm. So, uh, yes, lovely smell that is. Look at her. Come on now, you've got to get excited by that. Just look at that. Okay, let's swap these over then and uh, look at the last set of locos for the day. Right, let's get on with the grand finale then. I've got a double header cracking off here and uh, this is two of the Midland compounds. Uh, one of them is the old Hornby Railways one and the one at the back there is the Hornby Railroad one. And uh, between them they've got quite a big rake of those, uh, I think they're Stanier coaches, LMS coaches at least anyway. So uh, let's get those off then, uh, the two Midland compounds. Here we go. Right, middle line then, there you can see it. This is the very, very lovely Backman Patriot in the LMS Maroon, beautiful 460. And she just has three Pullman coaches, a little passenger train, but quite a luxury one at that. Okay, here we are then, let's get the, uh, the lovely Backman Patriot up and running. Here she goes. Whoops, I went the wrong way there, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, forward she goes. Last up then, we've got a real, real corker, and this has got to be one of my favourites as well. Uh, this is the Coronation class, or the Duchess class, whatever you want to call it. Uh, she doesn't have the streamlining, as you can see, and uh, she is also a Wren, so she's extremely, extremely powerful. So, uh, she has Pullman coaches as far as the eye can see. Uh, let me see, I think there's five, six, I think there's eight. So, eight Pullman coaches, that's pretty good, isn't it? So, let's see if she can put her money where her mouth is then, and uh, let's get her to pull those off. So, here we are then with the Wren unstreamlined coronation class.
Got everything running in the same direction this time, but wow, look at this. I love moments like this where you just get so much movement in the shot all at once. And there you've got the uh, compounds. Not a problem for those, just this quite a small rake of coaches with the mail van on the back, yeah I forgot to say that, that's the operating mail coach which isn't operating anymore because it was a bit faulty so uh, I just disabled the mail operating system there we go, lovely Backman Patriot managing obviously just perfectly with those Pullmans Yep, nothing wrong with that. And here come the uh, well, the little compounds again. Yep, very good reliable runners that one. The one at the front there is the one with my Ringfield motor conversion. Which is good. And if I just park the camera here, hopefully we'll see the, uh, the lovely Wren Duchess come past. And here she comes now. City of London, by the way. Don't think I said that, but she is the maroon one. And it's actually made me want to run my uh, blue one and black ones again as well. But uh, not in this video, but maybe next time. Alright then folks, well I have had a lovely day doing this, so I really hope the video comes out okay, and I really hope you guys will enjoy it as well. But now then, time for my all-time favourite part of these videos, it's where I put the last few locos into those sidings and show you all of them together. And I think today with this uh, lovely red theme, uh, it promises to be something very special. So I'm going to do that straight away, and I'll be right back in just a second, and I'll show you that. Okay, let's get to it. Wow, well there you have it then, I think that is 17 locomotives, so I have done more than that in the past of course, but I think this has got to be one of the best views hasn't it, look at that, all sorts of different locos, I think James definitely stands out as the brightest, but uh, yes I have thoroughly enjoyed doing that and I hope you've enjoyed seeing it as well, so yeah if you did like it please don't forget to leave the video a like or even a comment because of course I do love to get your feedback and also if you'd like to check out the Facebook or Twitter pages please do they're at facebook.com forward slash samstrains or twitter.com forward slash samstrains it would be lovely to see you over there but for now folks once again thank you very much for watching I do appreciate your company as always and I will see you next time for a nice review of some sort okay folks see you next time